Welcome back to another video here on Blox Utopia. Today, we'll be going over the new update for Roblox Shindo Life. So we hope you're excited for this video, and if you are, make sure to slap the like button on this video. And maybe even leave a comment, we would love to hear from you. Also, before we start, we ask for you to hit the subscribe button and post notifications. We post content just like this very video, and it would be a shame if you missed out on any of it. Anyways, with all that being said, let's jump right into today's video. There's a Roblox game out there for everyone, whether it's running away from Piggy or looking after cute pets in Adopt Me. But recently, one game in particular has risen to massive popularity, Shindo Life. Originally called Shinobi Life 2, the game is a reimagining of the original Shinobi Life, a Naturo-style ninja game where you explore an open world and fight against opponents in the arena using your martial arts prowess and abilities, but you can also use spins to get freebies which can make your character stronger. That's where our Shindo Life Codes lists come in. There's a lot of updates to this game, but there's also new codes. Here we'll round up the latest free codes in the game so you can claim some free spins and power yourself up. More more exclamation point spins. So when you redeem this code, you will actually receive some spins, which is super cool, but it's not something that isn't common. In fact, let's move on to our next code. Bus BS exclamation point spins. For this one, once you redeem, you will also get spins just like the last code. But you really can't complain because you are getting free spins just for simply typing in a code. But let's move on to our next code on the list. Morby Ting exclamation point spins. And just like the last two, you guessed it, spins. Pretty predictable. Tensa Sengoku, exclamation mark, spins. And just like the last one, more spins. Tensen, exclamation mark, spins. More spins, wow, too many spins, just kidding, but this is seriously an opportunity at its fullest. Shindo codes are given out by the developer of Shindo Life and they offer in-game rewards, but most notably they give you free spins. What you really want from Shindo Life Codes are free spins, and you can get these in-game by completing daily quests or leveling up. You can also join the Rel Games Discord to see when any new Shindo codes are posted for the game, or follow the official Twitter and YouTube. In order to redeem Shindo codes, you need to cycle through the in-game menu to the Edit section. In the top right, you'll see YouTube Codes. Tap here to enter your code and then the Redeem button to get your rewards. If you played events on Shindo Life in the past, then this will be similar to you. There's some cutscenes that are voiced, and after they end, you will be fighting a very tough boss. Kagoku will shift in and out of dimensions, and their abilities will reflect what dimensions they have shifted you into. Kagoku has five different drops. These are the Kagoku Ash Staff, Kagoku Bloodline, and each of the dimensions you can upgrade it with. Lava, Sand, and Ice. Originally called Shinobi Life 2, the game is a reimagining of the original Shinobi Life, a Naturo-style ninja game where you explore an open world and fight against opponents in the arena. Using your martial prowess and abilities, we also explain how to redeem the Shindo codes in-game lore down the page. So with all this, you know there are a lot of updates, but there's also with the gameplay. Bloodlines. Bloodlines are a classification of in-game abilities which allow you to use different powers from the Naturo anime. There are three different types of bloodlines, eye bloodlines, clan bloodlines, and elemental bloodlines. New bloodlines can be acquired by spinning on the bloodline menu. Every bloodline has its own perks and techniques which must be unlocked by leveling up. The story mode is vastly different from every other in-game and is widely considered the most authentic Naruto experience. To begin the story mode, you'll need the closed community access which comes after joining one of the game's various organizations. To do so, you'll have to pass an application and combat test. The War Mode is another multiplayer game mode, but instead of PvP gameplay, offers a cooperative teamwork. The mode sees players in teams of 8 together fighting waves of enemies attacking a central tower. Every 5th wave, the teams are forced to face a boss. Fans consider War Mode a great way to farm XP and Ryo, but cannot be accessed until level 400. Sub Abilities Finally, Sub Abilities are the third type of Jutsu in-game, which can be unlocked by finding their associated scrolls in the wild. Martial Arts provide attack moves you can use in combat. Similarly, modes are temporary stat boosts or special moves, and miscellaneous sub-abilities are various other powerful jutsu abilities that can cause damage, stun enemies, or heal the player. What did you think of this video? Let us know down in the comment section below. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching here on Blocks Utopia. We hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you actually did, and don't forget to subscribe.
Also, watch the two videos on screen because I'm sure you'll love them. And with that, I'll see you in the next Roblox video. Goodbye.